What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a brand new 27 inch iMac that I just got. I know it's already unboxed but I'm going to turn back the hands of time to before I unbox it and show you the unboxing. I've been a PC user all my life. The only time I've ever used a Mac was back when I was in high school and that's what 20 years ago? <laughs> So, in this video I'm going to explain to you why I bought an iMac and I'm going to give you some thoughts I had on some of the hardware, uh, especially if you bought your iMac for video editing. So, let's get started. So here it is guys, late 2015 uh, 5K 27 inch iMac. It's got a core i7 4 GHz Intel processor with 8 gigs of DDR3 memory, a Macintosh Fusion Drive, which is 2 terabytes, an AMD Radeon R9 M395X with 4 megabytes of video memory. They even make the unboxing of the box easy and toolless with the little tab that you just have to pull to open the box. very simple then you just got to watch out when you open up the box itself because I initially didn't open it from the right side <laughs> and you don't want the iMac to come flying out of the box here's the accessory box that has your keyboard mouse and charging cable along with some pamphlets and stickers. You can just slide off the top piece of styrofoam. It's fairly easy. Here's the power cable. Nice and rubbery. Now what you want to do is very carefully lift up the iMac with all the styrofoam and take it out of the box. There's nothing else in the box, so you can just go ahead and put it off to the side. So now each piece of styrofoam on each side easily slides off. Once you have the styrofoam off, you can just rip open the little sticker in the back and gently take apart the fabric from the top and the bottom just work your way down don't forget there's another piece behind the stand that needs to come apart before you can lift this up I found that out afterward. Now some people just rip off this gigantic sticker, but I chose to gently work the sticker off from each side very carefully. Surprising enough, there were some little marks or smudges on the screen. Couldn't tell you why, it probably happened in the factory or something, but I just wiped those off. Just get yourself a nice soft microfiber cloth and any marks should come right off. If you can't already tell, I'm very anal about having a clean screen. <laughs> now there's one last sticker that's on the back of the stand and wraps underneath it so you're gonna have to lift up the Mac and very carefully undo it so here are the accessories the keyboard and the mouse very nicely wrapped up <laughs> it's 
Look at those skills. <laughs> I should have been a hand model. The bottom's plastic and it's encased in an alum aluminum. It's got your charging port. And the on off button on the side. Here's the Magic Mouse 2. Got a little clicky button. The bottom's aluminum. Here's all your paperwork. Quick start guide, some warranty information, some stickers. and a little microfiber cloth to help clean those pre-smudges off your brand new screen. And here's your charging cable. Your keyboard and mouse come pre-charged to about 89%, so you can use them right away or you can choose to charge them before you use them either way. So now once you take out the power cable and you go to push it into the back, it only goes in one way just line up the little prongs and push it in until you hear a click. So now once you have it all plugged in and ready to go, hit that power button and wait for that all too famous Apple sound. Once that's done, you go through a few prompts, enter some information, and you're on your way to using your new Mac. So here we have the Apple Magic Mouse 2. I have no arguments with this. It's very sleek. It's got a premium feel to it. It's got a nice weight and it works really well. The only thing is, if you do a lot of video editing and stuff like I do, it's not very ergonomic and you're definitely going to feel it in your hand because when you're when you have your hand on this, it's pretty much F real flat so your hands gonna be like that so if you're moving around and clicking a lot your hand naturally rests kind of like at an arch and with this it's more flat but like I said if you do a lot of video editing you're gonna want to get some sort of other ergonomic mouse because this just starts to hurt your hand after half an hour or so so what I'm using is a uh, Nice little Logitech, nothing fancy. Uh, this one is the M510. Fits really well. Feels really good. It's not very expensive. It does the job. So I recommend getting one of those. Now here's the keyboard. The keys are really nice. Everything's really flat. It's got that premium aluminum. And it's just so slightly raised up. But if this is too flat for you, then what I recommend is going to Lowe's or something and getting some of these. They got like a little sticky back to them and it, it's rubberized. So when you put a couple of these on the underside of the keyboard, it'll pretty much stay in place. And 
it'll raise it up just enough. So something a little simple, a little trick to do. But other than that, the keyboard's really nice. For the majority of the keys, they're, they're pretty big, except for when you get down to a couple of the arrows. That can get kind of annoying because they're really close together. But other than that, I don't see any problems with this keyboard. It's really nice. I don't know if it's worth $100, though. I mean, you can get a $50 keyboard at Best Buy that has the numeric keypad on the side and everything. So, whether or not you like that or the other one, you know, it's all to preference. So something else I was wondering about was, would the iMac come with Sierra already installed or would it keep the El Capitan and give you the option to upgrade just in case? And I ordered this probably about a week ago and that was a, like a week after Sierra had already been put out in the wild. So I can confirm that it does come with El, Cap El Capitan and I even talked to the people at Apple and the lady said that if you order an iMac from now till whenever, it should come with Al Capitan and then you put the Sierra OS upgrade on it afterwards. Now I don't know how long it's going to stay like that, so if you're looking to get a Mac that has El Capitan, I'd probably get it as soon as possible. So, as I mentioned before, I've been a pretty much a lifetime PC user and I do a lot of video editing especially for YouTube videos and my PC that I was using was I would say it was it was near the top of the line I had a Core i7 a 4 gig a video card in there 32 gigs of RAM there was really no problem with the actual video editing itself but sometimes I would go through and edit a video for probably an hour and then go to render it just to have it the program crash. I was using uh, Camtasia and I was also using Corel Video. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So I would go in there and edit like an hour long video and I'd start to render and I'd come back just to find the, the software had crashed. Just to retry to render it again and it would crash again. So then I had to spend time trying to rig the video so I could somehow render it. And that would take up a whole friggin' day for a video and it just, it just took too much time and I was, I was over it. So went ahead and bought the Mac because they're great for video editing and a lot of other things. I've been using Final Cut Pro X and it's been great. I've had no problems whatsoever. So if you're trying to do video editing, I would definitely recommend an iMac or some sort of MacBook Pro or something like that that can handle it. So that's just my two cents, my experience. You guys might have a different experience. So take it for what it's worth. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing video here. If you guys have any comments or anything, please leave them in the comment section below. How's your experience? If you do have an iMac, how's it been going for you? Leave a comment in the section below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for some more videos. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.